um thank you for watching this videos uh my name is Mutianto. i'm from uh, Matsubana university computer science faculty and this for this video i want to um like uh, there's some question some quiz that i need to as well i need to uh, explain what's what, what's the answer what's the correct answer of this question and I'll, I'll try to explain a little bit but i'm not that good at this at this at this curriculum i this this is the internet switching uh, ccna rns <coughs> Let's let's start. First question is which two characteristics describe internet technology? What is the internet technology? So what's the characteristic that describe the internet technology? So there's some option. It is there's two correct answer. Apologies. Uh, the first one it, it is like it is supported by IEE 802.3 standards so there's some standard that uh, describe the internet technology so uh, the IEE 803 we can we can try to google it but let, let's say let, let's see what, what's the what's the standard is about the the it's zero two point three IEE. So straight from the Wikipedia, it is the collections of um, standard produced by the working group defining the physical layer and that the link media control and wide internet. So this is pretty much self described. So the the first option was it is a it is a supported by IEE eight zero two point three standards and the second second characteristic of of Ethernet technologies it is unique MAC address to ensure that the data is sent to the appropriate destination. So this is the explanation. Each node on the network has a unique MAC address for communication purpose. And what is the second question? So what statement describes characteristic of MAC address? So it is it is uh, any vendor selling internet device must re register with the IE to ensure the vendor is assigned a unique 24 bit code. Which become the first 24 bits of the MAC address. The last 24 bits of the MAC address are generated per hardware device. This helps to ensure globally unique address for each Ethernet device. So the, the correct the correct statement from this four option is that the first one they, they must be globally unique. So MAC address cannot be cannot be the same for each device. So it must be like every device have different MAC address the third question what is the spatial value assigned to the first 24 bits of multicast MAC address transporting an IP version 4 packet there is just a with multicast IP address there is special assigned value for multicast MAC address the first 24 bits are set in hex to 0 1 to 005E. The remaining six hex digits are derived from the lower 23 bits of the IP multicase. So, what's the special value sign that the first 24 bits is this this bit? This this uh, this value is 010053. So this is like an identifier, something like that. So number four, what will host on an Ethernet network do if it receives a prem with a, with a unicast destination MAC address that does not match its own MAC address? 
in in an Ethernet network, in Ethernet network, it's an IC in the network checks every arriving frame to see if the destination MAC address in the frame match match in in its own MAC address. If there is no match, the device discards the frame. If there is a match, the NRC passes the frame up to the next OC layer. So what? If a host on an Ethernet network will receive a frame of unique MAC address that does not match it, its own MAC address, then it will discard the frame. Number five, which network device makes forwarding decision makes on the destination MAC address that is contained in the frame? Which network device makes forwarding decision? Best on the destination MAC address. Switch switches are the central connection point for LAN and they maintain a MAC address table. The MAC address table has port number associated with the MAC address for each particular device. The switch inspect a frame to look at destination MAC address. The switch then looks in its MAC address table and if that MAC address is found, the switch forward the data to the port that is associated with particular MAC address. It's pretty much self self explanatory. So this is really good explanation. So what the network device that makes forwarding decision is the switch. Number six, which network device has the primary function to send data to specific destination based on the information found in the MAC address table. So again the answer is MAC is the, the switch. So if MAC address is found in the, the MAC address table, then the data is sent to the associated switch switch port. The MAC address is not found in the MAC address table. The data is sent to all switch ports that have device attached to the same network. So the device that uh, its primary function is to send data to specific destination based on the information found in MAC address table is the switch. Number seven, which function or, or operation is performed by the LLC supplier? The Ethernet LLC supplier has the responsibility to handle communication with the upper upper protocol layer. So so it's 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 handle communication between upper layers and lower layers of the protocol stack. Number eight, what happens to run frames received by a Cisco Ethernet switch? What happens to run frames received by a Cisco Ethernet? An attempt to, to conserve bandwidth and not forward useless frames, Ethernet device drop frames that are considered to be run less than 64 bytes. Or jumbo greater than <coughs> fifteen hundred bytes frames, so 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 it will it will the frame will will be dropped if if it if it's yeah, it's if it's run number eight nine. Where what addressing information is recorded by switch to build its MAC address table? What addressing information? There is a the source layer to address of incoming frame. So switch build a MAC address table by inspecting incoming layer, incoming layer to frames and recording source MAC address found in the frame, frame header. The discovered and recorded MAC address is then associated with the port used to receive the frame. What is Auto MDIX? Auto MDIX is a feature that Enable on the latest Cisco switch and that allows the switch to detect and use whatever type of cable is attached to specific port. What type of address is 01005E0A0002? It is an address that reads a specific group of hosts. The multicast MAC address is a special value that begins with 010053. It's in hexadecimal and allows the source device to send packet to a group of devices. This statement is true about MAC address. 
So the MAC address is the first three bytes are used by vendor assigned or UI. So MAC address is composed of six bytes. The first three bytes are used for vendor identification and the last three bytes must be assigned a unique value within the same or UI. MAC address are implemented in hardware and an IC needs a MAC address to communicate over the LAN and IE regulates the MAC address. What are the two size minimum and expect maximum of an Ethernet frame? So the minimum Ethernet frame is 64 bytes. The maximum expected Ethernet frame is 15, 18 bytes. Which two functions or operations are performed by the MAC supplier? The MAC supplier is the lower of the two data link supplier and is closest to the basic layer. The primary functions of the MAC supplier are the, enca the encapsulated data from the upper layer protocols and control access to the media. So these two options is the correct option. And that's it. The, um, the quiz for this for the subject at the red switching. Thank you for for your time and yeah.